Hello everyone, this video will demonstrate how to connect to Google API, uh, especially in the OAuth 2 format for web applications in Python. So one thing to note is that we will only be using the requests library. We will also be dealing with OAuth 2 and that shouldn't be too hard to understand once we get the hang of things. If we look in this main function, as you can see this zero indicates that it's the very first row that we are dealing with and we're turning it to a row fill instead of a column fill. And then the messages of course is just your tuple of messages. And so when I run this, we get a response of 200 and as you can see cell 1, cell 2, cell 3 and cell 4 are filled in. We can also just change anything in here, maybe call it row, maybe change this to just a 4, then we run this and we got row here and 4 here. We can also change from a row fill to a column fill. These will still stay but it will update down here. So. If I change this cell 1 to just cell for example and run this, we get a response code of 200 and as you can see the cell 1 is replaced with cell and everything else is the same. So let us get into how we actually go about implementing this with the Google API. This specific Python script will also be available in the description. Just go to the GitHub page and you can access it directly. So let us start from the beginning. I just remove the four configuration constants in the Python script um, just so that we can start fresh. Okay, so let's first start with going to the Google Cloud Console. And let's click the first link which will direct us to the Google Cloud Platform. And if you're just getting started with this, you should see a pop-up saying to agree to terms. Just agree to them. And then we would want to create a project. So I already made one here, but we're just going to create a new one. And call it my automations tutorial. So once the project is created, we go to APIs and Services. Let's select My Automations Tutorial. And let's go to Credentials. And here is what we have to do. We have to first create credentials so that we have access to any resources like Google Sheets or Google Drive anything like that relating to Google. So let's first create credentials. We're going to be using the OAuth client ID. Now this screen will pop up to ask you to configure your consent screen. Just do that now. Make it an external. Create an app name. Just say My Automations. Just fill in all the required aspects of this document. Don't worry about any scopes. Don't worry about any test users. And just back to dashboard. And then you want to click publish app. If we don't publish this app, then our refresh tokens, which get generated from this OAuth consent screen, won't stay for longer than seven days. So let's just publish the app, confirm. Now that the OAuth consent screen is complete, let's go back to credentials. And again, let's click on create credentials and OAuth client ID. Application type, we're going to choose a web application. I'm just going to call this Python script. And then for authorized redirect URIs, 
just put something like your local host and then we now have your client ID and client secret so let's copy the client ID and paste it in the code and our client secret and paste it in the code we also have another file here which will also be in the description and we also want to replace these now this specific file only deals with getting the refresh token once then we won't need to worry about it ever again so using the client ID we received from this we just want to replace the client ID parameter in this URL and then we want to copy this whole URL and just paste it in your browser so we only ever need to do this authentication process once after we get the refresh token from this process we'll be able to use the refresh token as many times as we like to make the requests now let's just log into our Google account so a warning by Google will show up saying Google hasn't verified this application but you are the developer so it's okay to just continue and then let's just continue and after the code equals we just want to copy this string up until the ampersand sign scope and so once we copied that that is our access code that we want to paste in here just run this script so the refresh token is the important part so let's just grab that refresh token and with that refresh token we can place it directly into this refresh token part so now let's create our Google Sheet so let's go to Google Sheets and let's create a blank Google Sheet. You can name this whatever you want. I'm just going to name it tutorial. And what we want is this ID right here. So let's copy that ID, control C, and let's paste it right here. And that's pretty much it. But the only thing that we need to add is one last thing in our library on the Google Cloud platform. We want to search Google Sheets API. Then we want to click on Google Sheets API and enable it. So now that the Google Sheets API is added, let's go back to our script and essentially we can run this and it shall work. We get a response code of 200 and if we check our sheet, we get exactly what we wanted. Again, if we change this to say 1, that's it that's the second column filled if you found this helpful please consider giving it a like subscribe if you want to subscribe and talk to you soon bye